Skinheads who don't think. They know shit, but they don't know wit. Think their facts are right when they're debating, but they don't know who are the foes they're hating. They attack ties, but they found out that in fact they like black guys. Because if it wasn't for Jerome, they wouldn't be at home smoking a spliff. Divert their hatred now towards the Polish. Their theories are full of hypocrisies. They must know this when half their ancestries came from Roman ships. BMP, bigotry, not politics, recruiting a lot of pricks from Alcoholics Anonymous. The old school tie club, the college code, the sort of man that doesn't know that there's halal butcheries down the Norwich Road. He doesn't think it's a pity that he doesn't know his neighbours. He's going to the chippy and he doesn't try the flavours. In a world of people of all sorts of origin, why don't you make the most of living somewhere that's cosmopolitan? I walk past the dry cleaners in my Chris suit because the man with the magic touch cleaned it. I go to the Portuguese patisserie and grab myself a cheap drink past the corner, congregated by fetheads and so-called lowlifes. At night time, this becomes the work setting for some poor hose life. Past the shop, advocating pro-life with a picture of a teenager and a picture of a fetus. Is it really necessary for passers-by to see this? Precarious reasons for an Aryan Jesus. The Christian science reading room is about to close, but my feet hurt though. I want to buy a tweed shirt so. I go into the shop window with a mannequin bimbo standing in the window. Fixed pose. Dresses for the evening and sequins sewn on clothes. And you know that punk is dead when you buy your clash t-shirts from Coe's.